So along with this, we have another type of uh, editable grid that is nothing but the subgrid. Editable subgrid. So the grid that we are seeing here is known, known as home grid. The other type we have is a uh, subgrid. So for that, what you need to do, you just need to go to any of the lead record. Just open up one lead record. So here we have some subgrids, one for stakeholders, another for competitors, etc. If I just want to convert this grid, for example, if I now add a record here, select a record over here, you can see this value is, you don't do anything, this is a normal read only grid, right? If I want to convert this to an editable grid, what I need to do, I just need to Click on Form Editor, open up the Form Editor, then make some changes to your grid where you need to enable the editable grid option. Let's have a look at that. Go to this grid, go to Properties. So we have all the options, and here we have Controls. Okay. Same process, Add Control, click on Editable Grid, and Make it as the default one. Click OK. Click Save. And then Publish. Okay, now let's check subgrid once again here. No, it's not a change. Let's publish on the solution. Now let's just Publish the form once again. Let's come back here. So this is not changing the existing grids. Uh, Let's do one thing. Let's give another try. Let's add one subgrid over here. It shows changes. Changes. Okay. And controls select. Grid. Okay. We just make it as the default grid. Save. Publish. Go back to your CRM form. Refresh it. It's taking a little more time. Let's wait for it. Yeah, here we have added the new view. You can see here we have the group. The group by option is there. And here you can see the subgrid, with all the options. So let's add a few values over here. Let me 
add audio visual add okay two values we have added here then you can see the same feature you have here you have the option to group them yeah you have the option to edit them in line I want to edit which is our account selector for this I have the option to select it yeah. and just click for the lookup here and you can change it and if I want to change any other value for example estimated close date I can directly change it right from here estimated revenue and this that's it so you can do the edit editing right from here that's about so in this video we have seen how we can customize and I mean and enable editable grids in your views as well as in your subgrids hope you enjoy the video thank you